Hello YouTube, it's your man BrownX3000 here again. This time I'm here to show some of the mechanics of the Bodyguard 380. And by mechanics I mean features and trigger and actually stripping this thing. Uh, first and foremost, you can see there's no magazine in there and there's nothing in the tube or should I say <laughs> nothing in the chamber I guess I watched too many videos anyway uh, those are you know, very important when it comes to fuel stripping or cleaning your fire uh, normally I just do that just so everyone, especially those who are new to firearms, know that you need to always safety check your firearm. But when it comes to field stripping or cleaning, you have to make sure you're always you know, having a loaded weapon. Now that we've checked that, let's go about field stripping this. First thing we do is we lock the slide back. With the slide back, we turn the takedown lever, which is this right over here. Turn it all the way around, like so. And this comes right out. Placing that there. Slide the slide right off. Next, we take out the guide rod. The guide rod comes with the spring and the rod. And finally, we can take out the barrel right here. So, these are all the things that make up your general fuel stripping. Uh, we have all the other things. You, know, you have your light right here still there uh, you still have the trigger uh, every other thing that makes up the gun and putting it back together is just the complete reverse first thing we take our slide put our barrel through that set it take our rod and put the spring back on that with that we put it back in its place, make sure that that's locked in and secured into the groove that should be on your barrel. And once again we're just going to slide the slide back on onto the rails. Take our takedown pin, put that right in. and you should hear it click into place. With that, let go slide and dry fire. Works. Everything back as it should be. This is your mag release right here. Again, this is your laser. One press turns it on. Two presses makes it pulsate, three presses, turns it off. And that can be hit from both sides, either side works. You're actually gonna adjust the windage, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a part there to adjust the windage there, and I think over here too, which is on the right side and underneath. Uh, another thing that I'm going to talk about here is the trigger pull. This has a very heavy trigger pull. Compared to all the others I've you know, had, this seems to be <laughs> the one with the most, that uh, requires the most force. Here we go. Almost there. Almost there. And 
There you go. You setting. There you have it. That's the click noise. Well, having a very heavy trigger pull is kind of good, especially for a farm like this that doesn't have a safety trigger like most of the Glocks do, well, all the Glocks do, and some other firearms. So, having this heavier trigger pull, you're not going to accidentally just press it. And the truth of the matter is that with this kind of heavy trigger pull, the chances are some kid is not going to just be able to pick it up and just fire it without being strong enough to be able to pull this trigger. So, but then we now have the mono safety, you know, which you can just pull up for safe. It actually has its safe written there, but I don't think you'll see that. But it's right there. So with that, you can't pull the trigger. You can't rack the slide until you pull this down. Then you can pull the trigger and you can rack the slide. So these are just part of the many features of this, including, okay, let me also mention your front and rear sights. It has some pretty good front and rear sights there, as you can see. To acquire a target, even without the laser, and to acquire it quickly, compared to most of the other uh, micro compacts like the LCP, the Caltech, uh, even your Diamondback, it's a lot better when it comes to the sights. Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, yes, it does have your loaded chamber indicator on the top there and at the side over here. So you're sure when the chamber is loaded, even if you can't, and if you didn't take a look at it. So overall, this is a very good firearm in terms of its complete uh, design mechanical you know uh, just looking at it it has those nice grooves that just makes it look you know, really sweet and that's all i'm gonna say about this gun uh catch you guys later